Okay, so for this problem, we know that a common stock pays a constant dividend at the end of each year into perpetuity. Using an annual effective interest rate of 10%, calculate the Macaulay duration of the stock. Okay, well, again, whenever we are uh, calculating the Macaulay duration in its traditional form, whenever we have like a payment occurring either at one, two, or three, like we always have to multiply the payment, discount it, and uh, multiply it by the time or duration that the payment is occurring at, right? Divided by the price of the bond in general. So in this case, we have a common stock that's like, that's a perpetuity, right? So given the fact that we would have to multiply duration uh, throughout, when we're solving for the numerator of Macaulay duration, say like, uh, for example, you have to discount a payment at time one V, but we have to multiply it by one at time two, and then we have to multiply it by two and so on, right? So since this is a perpetuity happening, given in this scenario, then that would also mean that there would be an incremental increase in each payment. So that means that there's going to be a level per perpetuity happening. And so whenever that happens at a constant rate of increase, we are going to use the perpetuity uh, formula of uh, P over I plus uh, Q over I squared. So we know, well, P represents the first uh, term happening. So it's one in this case, and Q represents an increase, which is two. So what we're going to do, which, which is one, sorry. So what we're going to do is that we're going to set one over I plus uh, one over I squared. And then the general price of a perpetuity is just always simple, uh, one over I. There's never multiplying by any duration. And now we're going to combine these. Or we could just solve by inputting 10%. So I'm going to do 1 divided by 10%, which is 10. And I'm going to do 1 divided by 10% uh, squared, which is 100. So 110 in all. 1 over 10% is 10, right? Now we divide 110 divided by 10, which is 11. So that is why it's 11 years.